Hello and welcome to this product video on how to install Ruckus Unleashed. So first of all we're going to go to our wireless networks and we're going to select configure.me SSID. So when we connect to this it's going to show that we have limited connectivity, that's absolutely normal. So once we're connected we're going to go to Internet Explorer and we're going to go to unleashed.ruckuswireless.com. So once we go to this website, it's going to show you that it's not secure. That's normal because it's using a self-signed certificate. So we're going to go to the web page and it's going to take us through the setup process. So first of all, it's going to say what language do we want, what country are we in, do we want to enable mesh. So just going to, for this purpose of this, we're just going to click next. IP setting, I'm going to leave it on DHCP, but if you really want to, you can specify a manual IP address. Moving on to wireless LAN, so you can choose your own wireless LAN name. I'm going to leave it as Ruckus Wireless 1. I'm not going to protect it with WPA2 key because I'm going to change this later on. And then we're going to go to administrator. So here is where you define your administrator username and password for the system and enable password recovery. So you can pop in a security email address, a security question and answer. In the event that you forget your login details, you can actually recover your password via this method. And when we click next, we're going to go to review. We're going to view all of our admin passwords if you really want to. We're going to view the system as a whole and we're going to click finish. This is going to say we're going to restart the network. Are you sure you want to continue? In this instance, I do. So I'm going to click yes. So at this point, the access point is going to reboot, and then we'll have to wait a few moments for the access point to reboot, and we'll be able to log back into the page. So now the system has finished rebooting, and it's now back online, we can see that we've configured our first Unleashed Master. Any subsequent access point will actually automatically join the Unleashed network, providing it's on the same layer to subnet. And at which point it will automatically join and it'll just pick up its configuration from the Unleashed Master Access Point. So I'm going to click on Finish. They say I can't reach the page because I'm no longer connected to that SSID. Because now I'll be needed to connect to my new SSID, which will be Ruckus Wireless 1. So I'm going to connect to this. It's going to let me authorise. And then once I've authorised, I'm going to go back to unleashed.ruckuswireless.com. And I'm going to log in with my credentials. So it's going to ask if I need to register. It's advisable that you do register, but in this instance I'm not going to, so you can skip this for now. And then you can click yes, skip. And that is your first Ruckus Wireless network configured. You can add more Wi-Fi networks if you need to, and click create, and create various different options. If you want to create another SSID, for example. So let's do that now. So I've created a test wireless network and that will be broadcasted. And that's it. That's your first Ruckus Wireless Unleashed Network set up. Thank you for watching.